Hi, it's Level 1975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. Now, today I'm going to talk about something that I don't ever complain about, but people who fight me complain about quite a lot, and that is the good old Hefty Shadow Ram. Uh, this is one of the vagaries of the peer to peer network that we play on. Uh, there is sometimes situations where you pass somebody um, you think miles wide of them, and on their screen they collide with you, and you take damage even though you definitely didn't hit them on your screen. It's one of those vagaries we have with the peer-to-peer -peer network. Uh, a lot of the time, I mean, especially the instances we kind of force through friendships and wings, etc. I mean, I often fight with and against Americans. I often fight with and against Australians. And those sort of connections are always going to be fraught with, um, you know, issue. Um, especially when you're talking about a space game, which on the old consoles is running at 30 FPS and is also communicating across different consoles at different frame rates. So there's going to be some vagaries and one of those vagaries is the Shadow Ram. This is something that annoys PvP opponents of mine quite often because I must admit I take advantage of the ramming mechanics in this game no end. Um, I'm notorious for ramming ships. I mean the ship I'm in here at the moment is a ramming ship. In fact this is the first time my Viper 4 has been outclassed in a ramming competition but then it is up against the medium it's up against the chieftain i elected to bring my viper force this fight because uh, this guy was a subscriber of mine he was a little worse for wear drink wise popped in for a chat um was one system over from me and challenged me to a fight so um i cleared down my merits and bounties and i came over and gave him a 1v1 i could have brought one, any one of my ships along and i wasn't going to bring something super try hard to someone using a chieftain because then you just shoot the drives out and it's not a fun fight. That's not a fun experience for the person in the achievement. Um, I elected to have some fun, bring a Viper along, and um, yeah, I had a reasonably fun fight. <sighs> Didn't hit very much, played very poorly, and I got rammed to absolute death. Um, I thought I avoided a few more of the rams than I apparently did, like that one there. And that's a prime example. On my screen, he passed above me by quite some distance. Um, you know, and suddenly after we've gone past each other, I then register a hit, lose my shields. It's a weird, weird thing is the Shadow Ram. And there are a lot of vagaries with the connection. Being peer to peer, you get a lot of funky things. Um, I remember I was fighting uh, somebody, and like, uh, um, when they watched the fight back on my YouTube channel, they were like, whoa, that's not what happened. Because, like, on my screen, I'm hitting those Rams, like, head on, head on, head on smashing him like totally hulk smashing him and on his screen he's seeing him maneuver past me wide and then having weird shadow rams and that's the situation we find ourselves in because we have a peer-to-peer -peer network um i would love ftf to move to a server model um i mean one of the main reasons for that obviously is we completely stop combat logging but um there are a lot of issues that it would solve i think for me but Ultimately, until they do, I personally am happy to take advantage of the vagaries of shadow ramming. Um, normally this falls in my favor. So um, let me know what you think in the comments down below because I'm not going to give a fair opinion of this. Um, yeah, I'm pretty biased. I have, like, the majority of my fleet, as many people have pointed out, are ridiculously heavy, uh, stupid bills that are designed to smack into people. Um, I do like an armoured ship. <laughs> it's got to be said. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you think. What do you think we should move to a server connection to, you know, get rid of some of these problems? We certainly wouldn't get rid of all of them, considering we're all from all around the world and we play together and we want to play together. So we're never going to have a perfect connection. The one thing I love about this Viper Mark IV is that rebuy is super cheap. That's why I always recommend small ships for, for players that are new because you can have fun and die and not have to worry about it. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching.